What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. It's Tuna for the win and today we picked up the classic NES. That's right you guys, we're gonna unbox it and check it out. Stay tuned. All right you guys, so here is the box. Here's the front of the box. Side of the box. Look how tiny it is in the back of the box. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Do not want to damage the box. So the first thing you see when you pull it out is poster. It's got a poster. Nintendo poster. My God, this thing is tiny. Look how tiny it is. Let's see. Wow. I have never seen one in person, so. My God, <laughs> look at that. Wow. This thing is cute. Look how small it is. That's what she said. <laughs> wow, this thing is, it's really cool. I can't believe that there, uh, there's a Super Nintendo one that I need to get. And also I heard rumors about a Nintendo 64 version. So that is gonna be pretty awesome. Let's compare it, I have the original NES. Let's compare it to the original NES. All right, so here's the new NES Classic. And here we got the original Nintendo. Look at that. Look at that. So tiny. I mean, it could, it could almost fit in the cartridge. Wow, that, that's pretty cool. All right, what else comes on the box is we got a controller. I wish this came with two controllers like the SNES Classic, but I don't know why. And I hear these these controller cords are, I think, less than three feet. So everyone recommends getting an extension. I'm just like, why Nintendo? Why did you do this to us? My, yeah, this, this, <laughs> this cord is short. <laughs> Look at this. Oh man. But here's the original controller. It feels like an original controller. It feels really good. You know what, let's actually, let's compare it. I have a original NES controller, let's go ahead and compare it. All right, here's the NES Classic controller, and here is the original NES controller. Very similar, I mean, they're exactly same width and thickness too. Here is the back. And of course the original NES controller is about almost three times the length of the NES Classic. But I heard you can also use the, um, the SNES controllers on NES, but I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose. All you need is the two buttons. So I will be picking up another NES controller. Here's the Nintendo power adapter. It's got Nintendo engraved on it. And we have the HDMI. Oh, here we go. We have the HDMI cable and the power cord, which is USB. Pretty interesting. Um, and this is the way you can mod your Nintendo Classic. I will be modding my Nintendo Classic. I will be trying to put on 800 games. So that was the whole point of getting the NES Classic is to have the whole library on there. And um, yeah. All right, so let's hook up the NES Classic and see what it has inside. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So. The menu is pretty awesome. We got Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, we got Donkey Kong. And what I love about this menu and the cover art is below the game is it shows if it's a one player or two player game. So that, that is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and scroll through these games. Kirby's Adventure, Mario Brothers, Mega Man, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out. It's got all the classics on here, but like I said earlier, I'm gonna wanna hack it 
mod it, and get every single NES game ever made put onto it. So let's go ahead and play Super... Uh, Contra is one of my favorite games, so let's go ahead and play Super C. So if you're looking to play some retro games in high definition, I would think the NES Classic is probably the best way. They do sell things like the Frame Meister, but you're looking at four to five hundred dollars, and that up converts your uh, signal to your HDTV. So NES Classic is a great deal for uh, was it fifty nine dollars. So le let's go ahead and check it out. The controls feel just like if I'm playing the original Nintendo, so no question there. Alright you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode now. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.